and I'm going to talk to the audience as, as a joker would. Okay. So welcome everyone. We're glad that you're here today to explore this theme of recovery. Um, we have a scene that we're going to present to you. And what's going to happen is we're going to see the scene once. We're going to run it through one time. And it's, it's maybe a little different than other theater that you've seen. Because what's going to happen is we're going to ask you to actually come up on stage and help provide solutions to the struggles or challenges that you see here. So to get warmed up a little bit, we're going to do a little call and response. This is called Opposites. And uh, join in here if you will. So when I say hot, you say cold, cold, hot, off, on, on, off, off, on, off, on, off, on. Hot, cold, on. Cold, hot, hot, off. Left, left, right. Right, right, right left. Up, right, on. Down, Down left, left, off. Okay, last one, last one. Here we go, here we go. Down, down, up, left. Up, up, down, right. Nice, nice job, nice job. <laughs> so, we're going to get into the scene here. We're going to play through once. If something comes up for someone, they need to check in. We have people who are available to be there for you, peer counselors. Um, anything else from the scene that we need to say? Y'all ready to go? Scene. Done differently. 
even if it's the way someone holds their body, even if it's the way they set a line. You don't got, you don't got to know the script we're improvising. We're just making this up. So you're stepping in as yourself into one of these characters' plays. Right? The minute you see something that could happen differently, raise your hand and say stop. Or freeze. Or freeze. Or whatever, yes, anything, anything, just yell something. Yes. We'll stop. Right. We'll freeze the scene and we'll get to, get to work with it a little bit. Sound good? Yeah. All right, so let's, let's start at the top. I'm gonna stand right over here and I'm gonna look at y'all so I know that we're ready. See.
However, let's, let's back up a moment. When there was this first connection with Job, audience, what does that do? What does that, how does that change the scene? What did, it, what, what did you see happen when, when the bystander reached out? Um, the officer kind of looked like, okay, I don't know what to do now. I guess the situation's cleared, but I'm not the most happy with it. But at least he's not. That'd be the perfect one to throw the conspiracy line out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he was hey, like, like conspiracy. Uh, <laughs> most people have no rights. Man. Character Joe, what about you? When the bystander was at least nearby, not walking away, did that do anything for you in that situation? What was the question? In, in other words, when the bystander uh, sort of connected or said, "Hey, we're here." Yeah. How does that change, if anything? Um, for me, it changes because someone's actually paying attention to my situation. Because in most of my day-to-day, -day, people are ignoring the fact that I exist. That's what I see. But they're really interested in watching when police are harassing me. Okay. Can I ask you a question, a more of a personal one? It, have you been in this place in real life? <laughs> yeah, I used to live off spray. Okay. Okay. So as a bystander. And a question for, again for the audience. How many of you have been a bystander in a similar way? Have you seen something like this where Joe or someone else is being harassed? Is that true for y'all? Yeah. Great. Okay. Is it, y'all really, and I'm asking this in real life now, is it safe to say, because I don't have all the answers here, we, we do, is it safe to say that the mere presence of other people, even if they're not actually confronting the officer, but the mere presence of bystanders is adds a little bit more safety? Help them. Can you speak to that, please? Yeah. In the short term, um, I mean, there's a lot of bystanders who want want the homeless removed from the site. Um, and so I think that in the short term it makes it less less likely that like an officer will like use force, but in terms of like the the systemic part of homelessness, um, I'm not I'm not sure that a bystander necessarily makes it more safe because I mean like those laws are on the books and they get on the books. Like in Olympia we have sidewalk laws. You, it's little, literally illegal to sit down on the sidewalk. It's pretty obvious who that's targeting. Um, and there hasn't been enough opposition to get that off of this. Anything that you want to say before we close this? Um, I mean, in reality, I don't know how well that would work out, but it'd be kind of um, interesting to try because, like, we're all humans, we're all humanity, and the fact of the matter is, is they were they deserve respect and dignity like we do too, you know, so um, treating a fellow human like a person instead of just some trash on the street is important, you know, for everybody. So.
say is like, like try to have the officer help me. You know, because the officer is just supposed to be there to help you. So. Can y'all, does this attempt, we, we see a very direct ask for help and support okay. that seems like a very valid and important piece of this whole puzzle. Officer, please. Well, and I'm not actually like, personally, I'm not refusing you, but as part of, I mean, I'm just kind of, You're ripped I'm, 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 I'm being that, 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 the top. that douche yeah. cop guy who <laughs> just like makes you mad, you know, yeah. so, bad and, cop, you know, <laughs> bad just, cop. I'm just curious, but it sounds like there was some inner, there was some inner conflict there. There was some desire on the part of your character, potentially, to want to respond a little differently. Yes. And well, what like, happened, while still being true to the character, what might that look like? Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. Are, honestly, I, I mean, I guess it, I've had I've run into instances with cops that where they've asked me to leave the premises for ridiculous reasons, um, and I just the best thing is, is you can say you know what I think this is kind of BS, but you just kind of go back your way yeah. and just leave it alone. I mean, typically that's the only good way without any rash consequences. You can go around the corner and be cussing up a storm, calling that cop every day in the book, but he didn't call it straight to his face and he did not arrest you and take you to jail. So, I mean, it's um, yeah. one, one piece among many that um, this it's, it's a really important piece that was not there. Can we give Scotty a round of applause? <laughs>